Hi and welcome to How Encoding. I'm your host, Mamat Azam, and in this particular video, I'm going to introduce you to the Cocos 2D library for the iPhone. Now, Cocos 2D library is basically used to create uh, iPhone games, and w one should ask that why would I use the Cocos 2D library? Why can't I just use uh, you know the frameworks provided by Apple? I mean, you can use them, but Cocos library just makes it very very easy for you to create iPhone games okay first thing you need to do is of course download the Cocos 2D library it's available for free just go to Google search for Cocos 2D for iPhone download it and install it once you install it uh, you will also get the templates okay so if I go over here file a new project you will actually see that apart from the other templates provided by Apple I also have these three new templates Cocos 2D application I have Cocos Box 2D application and Chipmunk in this particular scenario in this particular demo we are only going to use a Cocos 2D application all right so let's get started with that um, this is a code this is all the code that has been written automatically okay so I haven't written any code as of yet and I can run it okay and if I run it you will see that I will get a hello world screen and it also displays the frame per second now if you are not able to run the application because your SDK is missing it's going to show up right over here that your SDK is missing okay I would suggest that you go and update to the latest SDK which is 4.1 right now and what you need to do is go and go to the project and then say edit project settings and then the base SDK select 4.1 okay and then you will be able to compile and run Cocos 2D application now the application which you make for Cocos 2D it has three main concepts scenes layers and sprites okay so if you're familiar with Photoshop, Photoshop also uses layers. So scene is basically uh, like the first screen, the introduction screen. That's your scene, right? The, the actual game that you are running, that might be the second screen. And let's say that when you finish the game, uh, when the game over, that can be another scene. So you can think of screens as scenes, all right? Layers. Of course, if you're using Photoshop, you should be aware of what layers are. Layers, basically, you can have different layers, okay? One layer can be on the background, one can be on the foreground. You can have mountains in the background in one layer, and on the front layer, you can have a lake, and on the other layer, which is in front, again, you can have a house, all right? Sprites are the things that you actually move. So, sprite can be a ball, sprite can be a person, sprite can be a tank, sprite can be a helicopter and sprites are basically the more uh, basically animated characters that you will uh, use in your game okay so let's check out some of the code over here we are saying that a scene we're creating a scene node we are creating a layer okay and then this layer is added to the scene and the scene is returned now if you go in the init class and this is all the code written by the Cocos 2D template I haven't touched any code yet we can see actually they're using a CC label all right and hello world font name font size pretty standard stuff CC director is responsible for returning a window size so if you want to display something in the middle and you don't know the coordinates it's very easy you can just get the size and then the size dot width divided by two is of course a center and size dot height divided by two and at the end it's just going to add the label to the to the scene to the layer basically all right and I think that's pretty much what's going on over here now if you go and check the uh, delegate files these are also created automatically you will note different things over here the first thing is that set display FPS which is a framework per second now in your application when you're testing you might need that but we're just gonna say no okay please do not display these things set device orientation now if you're making uh, a portrait game then it's much more makes sense to you know have the device orientation 
to portrait. So the, we have landscape over here, we also have portrait, and then you can actually, uh, oops, you can actually delete this one so that your application will run in the portrait mode. There we go. So let's run this application again. And this time, the uh, the yeah, you can actually see this is in a portrait mode, and then now the framework per second is now gone. So you can get started with like this. All right. So that's pretty much it. I mean, this is just the introduction videos. You can go and download Coco Studio for free, of course, and use it in your application. In the upcoming videos, I will focus more on how to create games. Now, if you like this video and you do like to support me, I would simply say, hey, go and buy my app. All right? So my app is called ABC Pomp, and it is created using Cocos 2D. And I will be covering, uh, I will be kind of like making this particular app. So if you have to have a good idea, it's just 99 cents. It's for kids. It's a learning app. If you do support these free videos that I'm making, I would really appreciate it if you go and buy the app. Um, you know, the, the name of the app is just ABC Pop. You can search it on iPhone. And uh, it's a, I think it's a great app for kids to learn the alphabets. All right. That's pretty much it. And I will post a new video about how to get started with Coco Studio and how to get into the, all that animation and effects. Thank you very much. And you have a nice day.